So, you want to learn how to be famous on the internet, huh, kid? What? Shut up, nerd. You're about to learn from the best. My legacy of posting things on the internet and going viral started at age 12, when we made projects on Scratch in computer class. That's a website that teaches kids how to code. One day, there was a really popular project on the front page called The Love Meter, where you could enter two people's names and it would tell you how much they love each other. I, of course, put my entire jacket over the computer screen in my head, like this, and typed in me and my crush's name. No one suspected a thing. Didn't get a very good score, though. But my buddy sitting next to me was more of the entrepreneur type. He had a genius idea. What if he jacked all of this project's coding and made his own project called the Hate Meter? And he did just that, and it was pretty good. But I had an even better idea. What if I did that? instead. And I did. I immediately blew up, getting thousands and thousands of views. My first taste of going viral. All I had to do was hijack other people's hard work and ideas, put a negative spin on the concept, and create a project that prompts people to play the project repeatedly and leave comments. All good in the algorithm's eyes. Be sure to leave a comment on who you would put in the hate meter while watching this video at 0.25 times speed on loop for a chance to win a bajillion dollars. Now the hate meter has more plays than the love meter does, and is still getting comments on it to this day. Flamethrower01 never dared to post anything again because he knew he could never match my creative genius, and also he was neurotypical. Me, on the other hand, who had absolutely no idea I was on the spectrum at the time, thrived on scratch.mit.edu. I once tried to use the website while it was down, and when it went back up, I made this. Ah, uh, looks like the website's down. How am I gonna react to that? Oh. Oh. Looks like I'm screaming. It's a Long, loud screen. Really long and loud. <laughs> okay. I think we can all agree that that was a masterpiece. I thought you were gonna talk about how to get famous on the internet. Silence, imbecile. Brand recognition. You wanna have a name that people can remember, a name that people can say at a party and other people can look up later. And the username I chose for my Scratch account was djl one because djlol was taken. You fool! How are we to become famous with this name? Stop being lazy and invest in cryptocurrency. You're squandering your youth. It's 2001, buy a house. When I was 14, I was finally ready to get my foot in the door of live action. A YouTube channel. I had been planning and plotting so many videos ready to go, and I had come up with the perfect username. My name is DJ, and I'm a genius, so... DJ Genius. What the fuck is that? I've become really emotionally attached to the DJ Genius username over the years. I think it's a really cute idea that my pre-high school self cooked up and I see the vision. It's a cool little name. I'm just worried that by clinging on to it, I'm gonna hurt this channel's chances of taking off the way that I want it to. The golden rule for a username should be that you can say it out loud and people will know how it's supposed to be spelled. DJ Genius is not that. How do you spell that? My dad is one of this channel's biggest fans. He leaves a comment on every video I post, even the ones that flop. And the other day, I watched him struggle to spell the name correctly while trying to look up the channel. I think it's time to get a new name. I'm never gonna fully part ways with DJ Genius. It's gonna stay the at, it's gonna stay the name of the gaming channel, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what's going on over there. But this right here, that's just gonna be my name. I'm Danny Elliott, and I love making videos so much that I'm trying to make it my career. Specifically with video essay type commentary review stuff. I'm very well spoken. Subscribe to embark on the final frontier before the dream dies. And with your help it may live on forever. <coughs> Wait, if your initials are D-E, why are you DJ? Well, my middle name's Josiah. Aren't you supposed to be a younger version of me? Why don't you know that? No, I'm just some kid. You're just some kid? Dude, I'm so sorry about smacking you. Well, you shouldn't be smacking yourself either, man. Self-love is important. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. My next video is about The Walking Dead or something. Subscribe.